This area is the most open area and the strongest wind most of the time that I ever seen in my life. But we experiment to build adobe house with no pillars and no nail, no screw to connect the roof structure to the wall, just mud cover it. But it can stand very well more than 10 years here. Ten. We had built two adobe buildings in this area. The first one is just a shade for keep the battery. We call the battery shade because we live out of the grid. We need to rely on solar panel and windmill mainly. So the battery have to be kept in the room that will not freeze in the winter. It's quite cold here because we have more than one meter of snow, more than seven months per year. This tiny adobe shade is an experiment. We built this building with no foundation, with uh, just built from the ground directly. But the outside is above the ground, look okay, but the bottom have some problem in the snow level, the snow when the snow melt. But on top, it's okay under the roof. Everything look good in the same shape. Inside, no sign of damage at all. Everything look nice and the same. Even it's more than 12 years already, this building still look okay. The floor is just very thin layer of concrete. Because we did not want to spend a lot of money, on this building. The main problem of this building is we don't have good foundation. We have no foundation at all. If we have a good foundation, we don't need to fix it often at all. The second adobe shade is a bite shade. This one was built about 13 years ago. So it's quite similar time of the battery shade. What we learned from this one is uh, this one was built for keep the bicycle. This one has no foundation. We just built on top of the ground directly. And then the inside look exactly the same. There's not much damage to see in here. Most of it look in the good shape too. It look nice. We don't need to take care of them at all inside. It's quite nice. And especially the top part of it, everything look exactly the same when we first built. So this building, no pillars. The same with the battery shade. We found that it hold the roof very well with no pillars, just the roof on top of the adobe wall and carp it or put mud cover the part that rests on the wall. That's all. Even here the wind is so strong. Strong, unbelievable strong. More than uh, 100 miles per hour. Sometimes maybe up to 200 miles per hour but that not happen often. So the roof, just uh, we use tin roof over the plywood like this. So the whole roof structure hold by the mud only. There's no nail, nothing to keep it. The outside part of it, it the, si the side that exposed to the rain has more damage like this side. You can see uh, there's some erosion on the side of the wall because we did not use any uh, concrete or anything on the side. It's just mud color, clay color. So this exposed to the rain, it erodes some. And another side that we're not exposed to the rain, it still look okay. But 
the problem is similar to the battery shed, the bottom part where it's covered with snow for a long time. When snow melts, the water seep in the side of the uh, bottom part of the wall. So we learned that Adobe building, we need to have the good foundation like this to make the foundation above the ground at least one foot in the cold climate like this, the wall will be safe and look good for a longer time. So at least one foot above the ground need to be concrete foundation or stone foundation. That will be very good. Our experience from building Adobe House in the cold climate, we learned that the best way is to have the foundation above the ground at least one foot or 30 centimeters at least need to be concrete. And the roof, we need overhang roof more than one meters. It will help to protect the wall better. And the good thing is it keeps temperature inside quite well. I think it's better than wooden house because it will not freeze inside. The chair this size, if we buy it, it may be cost more than $4,000, $5,000. But we barely spend any money on these two chairs. We use leftover that we're going to throw away. But it lasts more than 10 years. Building is quite fun and easy. This is the book that I wrote about how to build a tin house. And another book is going home, is come back to live with the nature, with the earth. So check it out in Amazon.